Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Kia XC facelift. We're back in Zurich in Swiss. We're gonna take it full in the review. Let's check the exterior interior. Let's go. So everyone here's the new Kia XC. This is the GT line package in beautiful green color. I haven't seen it before, but it looks very nice in person. And let's check out what's new on facelift. So coming a little bit closer, checking the LED headlights, uh, we have three daytime running lights that turn into turn signals. We have a lens here for the main beam and here the long beam. Now, this is a gorgeous green metallic color. It looks quite uh, as on the camera. Sometimes, you know, depending on the light, it might look different on the camera. We have this in nice gray finish, a little piano black on the GT line. This is actual air intake. Uh, you can see there. So nice aerodynamics. We have unpainted plastic going around and uh, over here on the front it's like a front diffuser also kind of mm, sort of uh, chrome-ish looking gray matte finish you have gorgeous design here in 3d in piano black of course the radar for emergency braking radar cruise distance and there's a lot of air intake here i hope there won't be chip stones hitting the radiator you can also see big air intake on at the front and with this also very 3D design, cool look. I like this um, sharp lines and of course the X on the grill. We have the new more uh, minimalist clean design badge, which I really do like. And backing up, the car looks amazing in this color. This black details, so it's quite gorgeous. Now, Checking the alloys, these are silver on black, diamond cut, new Kia badge of course, these came on Continental, and these are Primacy Contact 6, these are 235-45 R18, so 18 inch alloys, we can also see parking sensors integrated there and on the front, standard. Now we're going to check the spec later, we have the black contrasting side mirrors, we have the lane assist camera, light and rain sensor, a little speaker on the dash inside. We're gonna come back a bit later. We also have speakers there and you can see part which is leather and then part plastic. Now we have the blind spot warning and physical blind spot for the mirror. Now this is interesting. This is not piano black as you can see this is piano black. So this is gonna be gray finish circling around the windows, tinted on the rear and panel roof you can see when it's open also on the rear you can see the shade there complemented with a black shark fin and roof racks in black nice and slim for better aerodynamics have integrated spoiler those pieces are in black so you can see the profile now you have this protection not to hit other doors and underneath as well for the chip stones, no saving on the rear, no drum brakes. This is your fuel cap. So when you open this, you can hang it here so it doesn't scratch your clear coat. You see uh, recommended run. Also Kia Signature in the new LED taillights. These have this kind of honeycomb extended pattern. They also have dynamic turn signals. We're gonna share that a little bit later exceed badge there if i back up you can see the whole car it looks even better i gotta say now some people might not like the new facelift taillights but i think you're gonna learn to love them now on the rear we have those reflectors we have also a little gray finish green diffuser a few strikes there Exhaust pipe is on the both ends. Still warm lights for some reason. Kia, I would like to see white LEDs. We have also back in camera there. And of course, new clean badge and GT line badge. Stop light is integrated on the top. It's pressed here. You can see the turn signals, but we're going to turn them on later. So you can see the whole car in the frame. Opens nice and tall. So this is the cargo space. I'm going to type in the liters. 
very practical hatchback. Opens fairly tall. I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. You can see how that looks on the top. You can press here to close or manually adjust the height and then hold this until you hear a beep so you can program the height if you have a lower garage. We have a hard top. You can of course remove these. And we have a very spacious cargo space. Once again, uh, on the left side, we have one warm light. I think it would have hurt if they put it two. Have grocery hooks on both ends. We have 12 volt or 180 watts outlet there. You can put a fire extinguisher here. There's a little room there. On the right side, we have two speakers. I think this is the JBL. They're not branded on the rear, but I think they are on the front. Again, that hook seat snug down 60 40, no middle opening, unfortunately. You have those tether points on both ends, and you have those over here as well. As well, and this is metal. I thought this was feels plastic, but it's actually metal. All four sides, and over here we have five fingers of height to the loading area. It'd be cooler if it was flat. You can see here max load 60 kilograms or 130 apes. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And you can see here you can put a spare tire, but it doesn't come with one. Now, uh, as you can see, this is in flat position. Again, with this, you can extend this and let it drop. So then you can get extra, extra five fingers. So you can see how that looks. It's a little bit deeper then. It's not flat with the rear, but uh, you do get a little bit more space. You can uh, put it back like that. So you can actually manage it with uh, one hand. I did so just adjust that one so it slides in and, and that's it let's press to close here so a nice and soft closing it's not too loud another look from here and possibly thumbnail for the video um, again gorgeous looking new color looks amazing especially in the GT line and so we are in open space sun solid opening now fairly wide opening as well if you need to put a child seat checking the seals you can push a key to lock here for the kids so they cannot open from the inside now this is pretty much the same hard plastic this is softly padded, covered with leather here as well. Not too much, but you know, it's at least not hard. You have power windows. Now this one goes almost all the way down. You have heated seats. Roman five means this is a factory tint. And you have a speaker here, small ball area, but it's okay. I guess you can fit one. You can see here aluminum doorstep and there is some sort of plastic protection there. Checking the seats, we have textile seat with a little bit leather inside, nice pattern. Uh, GT line, black uh, roof liner there and let's knock down the seats here. You can see how that looks and you can see inside. It is a little bit dark. There's a seat belt aligner there. So it's not in the way. And here you need to just press inside for the isofix so you won't lose those covers like in some other cars. And let me just sit inside. So I have my cable here, power bank. Okay, uh, I was sitting in the front. Now the seat is adjusted for myself, I think. Actually, no, someone backed it up, uh, turning on the car for us. So you can see the feet room is okay. Uh, tight knee room. I'm gonna see if I come back, but uh, I'm a very tall person, so I can still fit inside. That's a good sign. AC vent here, you can open it. Adjust those AC uh, air and directions. One USB-C, fast charging, nicely illuminated in red. And transmission tunnel is wider, not too tall. So you could possibly fit a third person. This is semi-soft actually no more on the soft side not that hard the seats are wide they feel comfortable and look comfortable 
I like this design on the doors and fairly tall window. This might be a blind spot, but also okay overview on the rear. Might be a little bit narrow. Uh, all three sides besides the driver have uh, slowly closing handles. There's a light here and a little hook for your shirts. Uh, you can see the panel roof as an option, tinted of course. Let's hear the closing sound. Now one of the windows is open, but I think it's okay. We're gonna see if we come to the front and close it. And headspace, um, well, very good actually, despite the sloping roof, but uh, for a tall person such as myself, it's always a little bit short. But for an average person, it will be okay. You'll be touching maybe slightly with your hair, but you would have mostly enough headspace. Um, over here, this is adjustable and seatbelt is adjustable and no hooks on the B-pillar. So the camera didn't focus for a moment, but it's okay, continuing on. Now front driver handle has a little button to close, uh, or excuse me, a lock and unlock. And over here you can pop the plastic with your key if your total battery depletes, so you can remove this. There's a physical cylinder only on the driver's side in that case to access your car. Solid closing sound and opening considering the window is down, but let's do it justice. So very solid closing and opening sound. Now front door is open a bit wider. We have the Kia signature down there. Seals are good and looking here. So this is softly padded. Old piano black, I'm not a huge fan, actually a little bit more than I'd like, but they have nice big handles to open. Uh, this is padded, padded, so it's all nice. You have a little chrome there. And over here, you can lock the rear for the kids, all power windows. You can adjust the left or right or fold the side mirrors electronically. Hard plastic at the bottom, and we have a speaker here, uh, JBL. And okay, ball area, it's profiled so it doesn't uh, ding around when you brake and accelerate. Aluminium door step on the front, a little bit longer. Uh, here is your tire pressure, so just pause and read there. And X seat original carpets, fixated so they don't move. Aluminium sport paddles are there. This is a fuse box, so not a storage area. Um, Push this up to slide back and forward, up and down, tilt. I don't see no lumbar support. I don't think I've noticed one on the other side, so unfortunately no lumbar. Uh, same design, leather from the inside at the bottom and top. Top bolsters are a bit bigger. And you have the GT line signature there. You can see there's a lot of light. And I like the sunroof. Over here we have LED headlights position, uh, elimination of the, or brightness of the screen. Uh, rear cross traffic alert, um, lane assist. So if I turn this on, you can see the whole light there turns on. Um, hold to open or close the rear and traction on or off. Steering column is manually adjusted. Let's jump inside. So yeah, someone backed up a little bit. I'm gonna adjust. Uh, good closing sounds, and let me just close this entirely. Okay, once again, very solid closing sound. I gotta say that. So Kia has been improving a lot, and it's just increased in value for that. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit down, and you can see I can go a little bit forward with my knees. So there will definitely be more uh, room for your knees if you're a tall person sitting behind another tall person. Uh, okay, switching to wide lens. Here's the beautiful point of view. And uh, I like the fact that you still have physical controls for the AC. And let's zoom back in. So checking the steering wheel, we have a 
nice texture on the leather, more on the smooth side, perforated on the sides, flat bottom, of course, sports steering wheel, GT line signature at the bottom, all uh, matte gray and piano black on the top, new Kia badge. So nice sports steering wheel with uh, physical controls, volume, um, radio options or sources uh, for the media, phone calls, favorites, voice commands. And over here we have, uh, I think, cockpit options there, cruise control, lane assist, the distance, and for the infotainment, sport battles, a light switches, keep your lights on automatic, fog lights control, and over here we have the, of course, classical uh, wiper controls. Uh, you can see the air vents, uh, also piano black on the sides. There's a vent there, speaker that showed you. This is soft, the rest is hard plastic. Speaker on the top there as well. And this is nicely covered with leather and soft. Even here, so Kia invested a little bit. They weren't saving on that. We have a nice big display. This is a new infotainment, works faster. Uh, new graphical interface, but we still have physical controls that we like. So some car manufacturers were adding a lot of touch options and they've uh, realized they've made a mistake. And they're saying they're gonna come back. So Kia didn't do that mistake, thumbs up for them. And you can see here shortcuts that are touch buttons, but you can also choose it from the screen. Uh, you can lock or lock from the inside hazards. I would like to see them in the side mirrors, but maybe something for Kia to add in the future. Passenger airbag information there. Uh, start stop is here, of course. Climate control options, AC automatic, off, max blow on the front, defrost on the rear, fan speed, close air circulation, and air blow direction. Sync, it's a dual zone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, heated options for the front, heated steering wheel. Um, not sure, maybe in other models there are ventilated seats. Uh, QI charging, wireless charging, you can see that, you have a little symbol there when it's charging your smartphone. And we have a little bit horrible piano black on the bottom, it looks great when it's new, but not so great when you scratch it. And there's dust and so on, so key advice, if you're watching, just get rid of the piano black. A little outlet on the front, we know where there's one in the cargo space, USB-A and USB-C for fast charging all it illuminated red so that's a nice detail there is a rubber uh, mat on the bottom there as well now you press here closes up so we have here says so shift lock release so press to move we have periphery the leather in the top uh, this is plastic and it's not metal unfortunately we have nice leather with contrast stitching park reverse neutral drive push to the side tiptronic for manually <clears throat> uh, choosing the gears sport mode auto start stop off parking sensors and backing camera if you press on the back and camera mm, not the greatest resolution of the camera the screen is good but um, it serves its perfect purpose so you can choose here what you want to see you can adjust that so that's your camera settings sport uh, this gives you a Another view there, so classic or sport. And moving uh, the bottom, this is just my cable for power bank uh, <clears throat> and electronic parking brake, auto hold, a very important. You see, illuminated the red when you are on a traffic light. Uh, little rubber area there. Shutter here, you can put here your cups, it's adjustable. A little bit plastic, they could have put it like a rubber mat at the bottom at least. This is plasticky, so if it were rubberized, it would be scratched more easier, so that's a good thing. This is semi soft, feels more like it's plasticky, but it's covered by leather. Uh, press this to open up, and let me see if I can share some light here. So, good space, but they could have added also like a rubber mat or at least like a little carpet thing to cover those uh, bolts and screws. Now over here, seats are nicely ergonomically designed and checking here, slowly opening, uh, plain plastic, but very spacious, if I may add. Let me just 
this on my hand over here so you can see there are a lot of lights on the car show so there's sometimes just a lot of um lens flares yeah uh let's move to the top so we have a good overview on the rear now let me just adjust it for myself i can see it actually in person yeah it's a little bit uh narrow so but very wide you can see farther behind you excuse me now you can see um but you know it's okay and there is here not sure if you can see it like uh auto dimming not on the side mirrors though and uh, there's nothing here so just classic although there's like you can see opening there now on the top you can press these lights so they're pressable which is cool you can also use this to turn all the lights in the interior off uh you can have it to turn on or off when the doors are open you can open the banner roof you can see that there's wind deflector there um i don't think it opens it all the way so yeah that's the maximum opening that's a little bit unfortunate uh you can close it and then you can have the shade you know come yeah you can play with that and over here we have a glasses compartment a little carpet inside you can see it's quite dark uh slowly opening um which is cool some car manufacturers either have a sunroof but then don't have this kia has both that's a good thing and over here you have documents holder the light turns on like this so unfortunately not consistent uh white uh cold light and warm light so i know some people like that but i prefer that it's matching if you ask me uh meter there quite large and if you close this up it switches off the light so warm light is good maybe at night but i don't know it just that's me uh and if let's see if this extends so i don't think so but yeah this is not covered it doesn't extend and for whatever reason they've been put here for the driver so sadly okay um we're gonna come to the infotainment but let's check the digital cockpit there now if we press here you can see the digital cockpit it looks very sharp in person even when you come a little bit closer very decent graphics uh press okay hold okay oh shipping mode okay i'm not gonna disable that yeah the cars are in it's this some sort of demo mode you can press here you can change so here with this little guy you can change that you can see the speedo driver monitoring hold to get to the settings again and then it brings up here uh the information for the cluster climate lights doors let me see here lights ambient lights yes please although i don't think i see ambient lights so sometimes this might be just like uh um, well lights that they call ambient lights just like tesla does and over here uh, you can see if you press the button on the top here you go to trip computer so you see that so this car was just brand new was reparked you can see 13 kilometers on the clock so the consumption is quite crazy but that's the reason why so don't get alarmed thinking that that's the actual fuel consumption you can see here navigation and you can see driver display tire pressure so once again just back here so nothing happens uh, i'm sure when you turn on the car there's an option to do that okay and we saw if you press the sport mode uh you would just get different dials uh so you have normal and sport in that case it looks the same in the middle now <clears throat> coming to here um i think the battery is hooked up to a 12 volt charger but we're going to try to wrap it up a little bit faster here now uh you have here a map brings you to the navigation of course you have the night and day mode menu options and uh, nearby info point of interest traffic information you can display turn the display off when you're driving so if you want to drive just with this your minimal is here you can do that uh back to the menu excuse me um there's a home button there or uh, there are pre sh pre uh, shortcuts um, or pre setups at the bottom like your favorites map and navigation uh this brings you to also settings of the navigation so 
this might confuse you navigation and map map is actually showing you a map phone calls of course bluetooth and uh, you can connect uh, with your smartphone you can have apple carplay and uh, android auto via usb climate controls so maybe these aren't working um, yeah they're working but so you have all of those pause and read so um, home screen required mode so this uh, you can read here you can have that on or off and Kia connect you can connect uh, via app and use um, weather sports vehicle diagnostics and so on uh, settings of course you can change here <clears throat> um, vehicle settings once again there was that uh, option there front forward and then there's a lot of options uh, like this this and this so I will not go through all of these because the video will be just too long you can see here cluster brightness uh, you can blue light filter as well so that's really uh, a lot of details here back and a cluster theme so once again back here uh, climate option lights uh, doors so there's just a lot of options um, radio now we're in Swiss, not sure if there's there is some radio. Let's play some sound. Oh, I can't play for too long not to get a copyright strike. Sound uh, is okay. There's some nice bass. You saw there are speakers in the cargo space. And uh, once again here, valet mode. Uh, now, as you can see, there are uh, like th three dots there. So you can have this like minimal display and you can have here manual key live notifications uh key connect so i just show you everything so here in the settings you have key uh, connect display options uh camera settings blue light filter again another setting like there's obviously two ways to get sometimes to same menus sound options volume limited on startup position where you want that equalizer with the bass middle treble you know uh, with the navigation and um, noise reduction so also a lot of options in Kia Kia is just again uh, stepping up really fast uh, no pull down menus there is like this so display off again option for that edit home icons and manual and there are uh, profiles here so you can have multiple profile if it's a family or a company car um, that's it um, of course everything illuminates red you can see that uh, and let's get to the uh, you can decrease the brightness there let's get to the front and show you what's happening this baby pull here once to open the cargo space Well, let's see what's underneath the bonnet so there is a just like in the middle to the right a little bit push to the left uh, you have to use the little leg there so there's your um, I believe this is, should be four cylinder if I'm not mistaken uh, turbo GDI and washer fluid is your little blue thing there and for the rest leave it to the mechanics let's uh let it drop closes perfectly so once again gotta watch out there's a table next to me beautiful kia xc let's just check the spec and then we're gonna turn on the lights for you as well so xc 1.6 tgdi dct gt line um 150 kilowatts or 204 horsepower petrol or benzene and uh, this should be in German we're in Zurich in Switzerland once again this is German spoken area there's also French in Geneva and 
uh, Italian in some parts, Italy part, uh, not Italy part, uh, excuse me, just language wise. So it's a four cylinder, yes, uh, automatic uh, transmission, 204 horsepower, and there are some specs here in Deutsch. And in Swiss francs, 41,500 uh, francs. And I guess uh, this is the total price with some sort of options. There you go. Now let's turn on the headlights. Now also interesting detail, you can see through this, like the screw, so that the top part is also glass, which is interesting. Not sure why they've uh, decided to make it that way. Okay, so headlights on. Now I want to show you the headlights when they are on. So you have the lenses there. And then we're gonna check the turn signals as well. So hazards on. Let me see if I can turn on the fox. Um, yeah, I think I have them both on. Moving to the rear. So you can see the rear, you can see only on the left side there is a fog light and you can see the dynamic turn signals, so that's really nice looking. You have the turn signals in the side mirrors, but you can't see them from the driver perspective, I like they added that. And you can see those daytime running lights turn into turn signals. Uh, apparently these are the fog lights then. I don't think I've turned on the long beam. But you can see that as well, how it looks. So, quite interesting. Again, I love the green color. Tell me in the comments how you like this package. So I hope you like the new XC facelift. If you do, smash the thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment below what you like the best about it. How to like the new LED taillights. And if you want to see more from Zurich Auto Show, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Stay safe. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.